Hello viewers. So last session we saw how to uh, send the message uh, using RabbitMQ. So this session how to receive uh, from the uh, queue. Uh, that's what we're going to see. So last session we created uh, the send um, connections and um, we enabled the channel to um, publish the messages. Okay, just watch the my previous uh, playlist. Uh, you will see this playlist. Uh, rabbit mq so today i going to show you how to receive the message from the queue okay uh, so now uh, as i discussed this is uh, already we set up the consumer application okay so already we set up the consumer application which we have already <coughs> okay let's go okay so this is the um, application um, console application which i created already receive okay so let's open that to receive so let it be this solution open sent a solution okay let's go and open the program okay let's uh, start uh, create the basic setup so the factory and connection and uh, just um, uh, uh, create the declaration of the channel so let's we copy the same uh, which is already we did it here okay so this all the uh, same process so yeah and even up to uh, declare uh, declaration also channel declaration also queue declaration also same so let's copy this okay okay fine so next uh, we need to include uh, one is the client and another one is uh, we need to include is uh, client uh, events so events why we need to include is we are going to um, uh, just uh, create the new uh, consumer so here uh, only we uh, declared the channel so now uh, we need to um, enable the event consumer so we need to uh, include one more so uh, before that uh, let's uh, see wh what's the uh, event that we we are including so then automatically it, we can in, it will uh, ask you for this to include this um, namespace so let's we can do that not a problem so now what's the stages so um, sh shortly we'll see we created the connection factory and from the factory we created the new uh, connection and uh, we uh, creating now the channel so here uh, we are uh, just uh, mm, declaring the uh, queue name okay and what is the state of the queue name okay so let's uh, start uh, building the consumer section now so where now uh, because this is a receiver so i am mm, call it as consumer consumer equal to new okay so event basic consume okay so here it will ask you to include uh, rabbit mq client events so i'll just include this and then pass uh, your channel model okay our model is here channel okay so now yes we consume this uh, channel okay so now what are we going to uh, do is so we need to uh, get my uh, data so what are the message i get it here so okay so now so le le let's so for this we need to encode my uh, data body also so i use here consumer dot receive okay so we don't know maybe it's maybe a multiple record as well so let's okay then so here
so this is actually the event handler okay so uh, what it is do is uh, so as the message is uh, pushed um, as a synchronous so received uh, actually it's a event uh, basic consumer received event handler will handles uh, your uh, delivery asynchronous delivery all so this is the method you need to uh, consume so uh, you will get the arguments so you need to uh, uh, as uh, we knows we pass the data uh, from the body okay so we need to get that argument to receive here so just uh, let's receive where dot body equal to so event argument dot uh, body so it has the same uh, the received uh, event handler contains same as uh, what we push for the basic publish so yes so we get it here so body okay then what the next is uh, we need to encode the message message equal to just there we decoded so just uh, here we need to convert this to the string okay that's the thing so here what we did is we just encoded with the uh, get bytes format so now we need to get this a string format that's it okay so just include the namespace using text to it then yeah so then utf8 then uh, get get string okay just pass the bytes because we already uh, receive the body is a byte format so you can pass to the byte so this will get you the message what we sent okay so then finally just uh, write this in the console console dot right line received okay so just pass the message there okay cool so all we did so then just uh, make it make sure like it's it's not closing anywhere so just copy just enter to exit kind of same logic which I have written there okay okay hopes all done so uh, we definitely so okay just um, just for reminder so we declare we just Uh, created the uh, declaration of the queue and um, then we uh, enable the new instance of event basic consumer so consumer has a event handler received which um, the get you the params what we uh, pushed uh, from the basic publish so just get it uh, use that and uh, so as uh, as it's an asynchronous method so it it will handle by default okay that's what it's do okay so even handler to get the message body but we didn't consume the queue actually so we need to write such a logics to get it done so I actually I, I forgot to consume the data okay so let's try to consume the data okay channel dot basic consume okay just the name of my queue is eco freelancer save true and my 
consumer okay so we all set now okay so we received uh, we just attached uh, the event handler and uh, decryptor so then until uh, my channel to uh, consume my uh, consume the queue of free launcher so let's uh, run this receiver first so let's save this okay let's stop uh, uh, my sender as well okay so let's start first consumer ready so uh, consumer is okay okay so now uh, my consumer is all set so consumer is waiting to receive data so let's go and send my data I going to send now message saying I am came from the coup Okay, so uh, the message is got sent here. Oops. Okay, we have to make sure our receiver should be keep running. Okay. Okay, let's run the receiver again. Okay, receive it's received came from Q. Okay, so as we uh, sent uh, the data, so it started getting it. Okay, that's fine now. So let's start uh, sending the new request. Mm, Q new request, okay? So new request one zero zero. So let's run this. Okay, so new request uh, came. So let's go to the receiver end. see I got uh, the new request received uh, uh, received came from the Q new request 101 okay so it's, it's done so let's uh, try it again okay let's stop the breakpoint so again one more request Okay, it's a uh, request sent. So again, I got the two records. Okay, so uh, uh, instead of uh, doing from the Visual Studio, let's close my program. Okay, it's a bit confusing. Um, just uh, close the whistle today let's to go and run from the program okay okay yeah so let's go to the command section okay so let's start a uh, run first receiver just change it to receive okay so just do dot net run
okay so let's open the another command okay cd change to desktop okay then change to send directory okay okay so this is my receiver so is keep listening now so now uh, i going to do dot net run see i got the message 101 so let's want to, we can edit the program also okay So sender just will change to one zero one. Okay, just save that. Okay, just enter and let's start again. You can just save the request to one zero one. Okay, so let's start run again. See, so my receiver received one zero one request. So hope you understand. So this is a way to use RabbitMQ to push uh, from um. Receiver, okay. So from the consumer, where he can consume the data, and we can push the data from the different instances as well. See, currently I use the local host, which is in my own machine. So in a future sessions, we'll see um, how to push. This is actually the single message response. So next we'll build like from the multiple um, uh, client. So multiple um, sender will send to the single client and he sends to the multiple uh, receivers so kind of logic all we will discuss in the uh, future session thanks for watching the video guys so we'll see in the next tutorial